all of this, friends, context, context, context. At this important juncture, we know that the first two cuts of Group D that we've discussed thus far, the clear audio MMV2 was subpar in performance and the Grado Go not being balanced enough. That's the Dengau car MP110 not just wins its Group B fight out, it still triumphs over the four cuts in Group C. The Grado Red, the Golden 2100, the Autophone 2M Blue and the Audio Technica AT440 MLB. Does this leave our cartridge to be reviewed today? The Goldring 1006. Yes, friends, the Goldring 1006 is our runner up for Group D. And after 9 months of waits, we finally have a cartridge that is able to beat that crazy, outstanding, outlier of a cartridge, the Nagaoka MP110. Yes, the 1006 beats it. Although the 1006 plays second feeder to the winner of Group D, the Nagaoka MP150, please do not take anything away from the 1006. It is an extremely capable cut. It kept me riveted for hours listening to it, hours and hours. A high end cartridge, fantastic. Our previous base kings, the Nagaoka MP110 and the Grado Red, providing even better definition and control. This is very important because although its base extension and base energy and amplitude is identical to the MP110 and the Grado Red, this increased control of the 1006 brings about a heightened, astounding sense of punchiness and dynamics. But everybody calls me Giorgio. <laughs> Amazing start stop is something to behold and for you to exclaim bravo. Reproduced double bass tones are deep and tuneful and never wobbly nor unsure. Excellent showing. When you put your arms around me, I get a fever that's so hard to bear. You get High frequency extension is on par with the top two cuts of Group C, the Grado Red and the Gold Ring 2100. But in terms of refinements, the 1006 had both of them and the Nagaoka MP110 beaten. Your makeup, we're mute. Mid range, very, very well done by the 1006. The energy level exhibited throughout the entire mid range spectrum is linear and coherent. Natural, soothing.
soothing, full and vibrant. Wonderful. People get ready. There's a train coming. You don't need no baggage. You just get on board. Picking up passengers from coast to coast. Zero sibilance, of course. Comparing to all the prior tested cuts in groups A, B and C, the 106 beats all of them in extracting detail and harmonics, its superior quiet background helping it to no end. Burnished, full, warm and weighty, yet with lots of detail and zinc. Much, much better than any of the top 3 cuts of Group C. It is unfatiguing to listen to its hours and hours on end, yet exciting and riveting at the same time. Top class execution by the people at Goldring here. Vocals. Within a minute, you easily know that the 106 gets it right again. It lavishes the listener with a full coherence mid range, and the extra detail over the group's A, B, and C cuts further heightens the listening pleasure as the singer appears real, convincing, and right before you on the soundstage. Sweet. Yes, again friends, spot on over here. Piano sound beautiful. The percussive nature of the key strikes are reproduced with aplomb and go really fast. Light and springy on the higher notes, full body and brimming with energy on the lower registers. Excellent relief. high-end credentials are proven again as you are rewarded with very good separation and delineation of instruments. Extremely clear harmonics contained within solid silhouettes on the stage. Its performance here thus is better than all the Group C cuts and rivaling decks of the Nagaoka MP110. Soundstaging wise, 
the Nagaka MP110 is finally beaten by this excellent Gold Ring 166. Here you get even better palpability of images, conjured up index air and ambience, and sustained on a quiet background. This is a great card. Number one, this will be your top cards to have if you are feeling rich and willing to spend above $150 to better that outstanding Nagaoka MP110. Number two, although this brilliant 166 plays second feeder to the Nagaoka MP150 here in Group D, we must understand that the Nagaoka brand of cartridges may not be easy for some of our friends to acquire in their locality. Not just logistically, but cost-wise, as the 166 availed to them by their local retailers may be way cheaper than if they ship in the Gaoka cartridges from overseas and having to pay import taxes and shipping fees. Thus, this brilliant Golden 166 is an important stock card worth every penny and one I will highly recommend. And 3. This 166 is way, way, way better than the $200 Goldwing 2100. So friends who are contemplating upgrading within the Goldwing family of cartridges, I beget you to spend that extra $50 over the 2100 for this $250 Goldwing 166. The Goldwing 166 comes highly recommended from me top class for the money and finally we have a card here to beat that crazy Nagaoka MP1100. So presenting to you friends, the very very proud runners up of Group D, the Goldring 1006.